Welcome everybody to Real Politics 2. I'm excited to dive into this one today and I thought it would be particularly challenging to take on the role of a really small and insignificant nation and turn them into a world power over the span of 100 years. Now I don't expect necessarily to win the game in that 100 years or to have the greatest nation on earth, but if I can turn them into something of a world power I would feel like this was a success, especially since it's my very first time playing through the game from start to finish. So we're going to take on the nation of Chad because they have an awesome name and they are right in the center uh, of Africa and really just not a lot there. And it even tells you it's a small country with no hope of expanding beyond its own borders. That to me sounds like a challenge. So let's take on the role of Chad and see what we can do. First things first, we're going to select our right hand. I need somebody that's going to help me with growth. So I'm going to look around and see uh, who might be the best possible choice that's going to help me with growth. I don't feel like the Dalai Lama is probably my right hand person in this case. Uh, but well, let's take a look and see what we've got. So I actually think I'm going to go with the interesting cognitional universal personality. It's got uh, plus 10 scientific integration, plus 10 to HDI. Uh, minus 10% to all projects implementation, uh, implementation time and minus 10 to all projects maintenance money costs. So uh, it's going to allow me to technologically advance more than I otherwise might be able to. So I feel like that's the way to go. So really the early part of the game is going to have to be heavily focused on us building up from the inside our nation, building up the infrastructure, building up our health and welfare uh, of our nation before we can even think about expansion, especially when we've got an, a pretty powerful and large nation like Nigeria very close to us there. So um, let's go ahead and take a look here. So just taking a look at where we stand right now as a nation. Very very low score, only 15. We gain 15 a year. Money, pretty low. We gain 7 a year. That's not much to spend on anything. Action points, uh, we're actually losing metals. We do have a little bit of fuel that we could export. Rare earth elements as well. Our GDP, GDP growth is minus 0 0.06. That's got to change. Uh, so a human development index is only 20. Uh, and then manpower right there. So really pretty weak in just about every category. So uh, this is not going to be easy. Let's go ahead and take a look at our projects because I think first and foremost, we've got to figure out a way to build that GDP. So we got to think about economics first of all. So here we have the economic focus uh, projects and I'm thinking maybe this is the way to go. So we've got agriculture. Uh, modernization. We've got tourism, which would probably bring in some much needed revenue. We've got industry, uh, but all of these require maintenance that would take away from my already depleted resources. So um, I'm also thinking about finding a way to build up those natural resources. So it doesn't look like we have the ability to choose any of these right now. Um, what's it say under African? African civilization, economic focus, might be a way to go here. Let's start with a financial system. We'll go there first and, and we'll see the effects. Uh, minimum tax level changes, unlocks tax breaks, min maximum tax level. Um, all right, I guess we'll do that. It's going to require our HDI to be above 20, which it is. I don't know if that's really what we want right now. What does this do? That just improves relations. So I'm thinking maybe economic focus is the way to go. Let's take a look at this. Resource income from fuels goes up. Unemployment growth uh, changes slightly. So um, I don't know. Industry, GDP growth. There we go. That's what we need. We need to start doing more of that. Interesting. Representatives of the International Development Fund... Uh, have approached us to discuss the future of our country. Now, let's face it, we're far from being the rich and powerful. This fund, however, believes it would be beneficial for the stabilization of the region if we were to expand over the next few years and move a few rungs up the international ladder. That's what we're after. All right, so they're going to give us money, uh, AP, uh, resources, excellent. 
yeah, we'll take that. We could take score bonuses if we didn't take it, but boy, that that helped a ton. Now we've got twenty five thousand instead of just five hundred in money, so we can go back and invest that in our country now. And I'm looking at economy specifically. Um, I'm just looking at the effects that different things have. GDP growth is 0 0.01 just to do that. But see, these are all things that are going to help me. Uh, we should already have a positive G GDP growth after we're done with our current uh, project. So uh, I think I'm going to hold off on buildings until I see where we're at. We can actually do two projects at once. So I'm going to go ahead and do agriculture motors modernization as well. So we're going to focus really heavily uh, economically, at least for the first year or two. Um, I do want to look at some of the buildings that are available to us, especially industry and economy, because I would like to change this metals that we're losing. I'd like to get that on the positive side. Um, so let's see, mining shaft uh, requires us to have mining industry modernization. But once we do that, it'll give us plus 20, which will almost get us to a positive on metals. Now there are rewards uh, from certain tasks that you perform. So in this case, if I can get my score over 500 from 45 in the next two years, uh, I'm going to get a 2,000 money bonus, 2,000 AP bonus. I will lose 1,000 money in AP if I do not achieve that. So project industry has been completed. Our GDP growth is now only point, minus 0 0.02. Uh, so it's heading in the right direction. Let's take that a little further if we can. Um, tourism that'll help a little bit more with that GDP we're working on agriculture modernization what about private industry that'll improve our HDI ever so slightly AP income there and GDP growth let's do that alright agriculture modernization has been implemented so I don't want to completely just go down this economic focus track. We're almost at a positive uh, GDP growth, though, which is huge. Um, I don't think we want to go that way any further right now. Let's look at financial system. We can go to a national currency, financial rating improvement, tax system upgrade, banking law. This is actually going to hurt our GDP growth if we choose that one. What about things like education? I'm thinking about my human development insect, uh, index, uh, social policy. I don't think we want to worry about science and things like that. Basic infrastructure. How about water infrastructure? Land infrastructure. These all help with the human development index, which are something I want to focus on at some point. Just not quite yet. Infrastructure. Energy production. I'm looking, I need to look down the road at what's available. I don't think any of that's really the way I need to go right now. We're going to continue on economic focus. Let's go ahead and do tourism. And by the time those two things are done, we'll have our GDP on the positive side. All right, we're about to complete services. We have completed it now. Let's go ahead and take a look at our unused project slots. We now have a positive GDP growth for the first time. Uh, so that's a step in the right direction. It's not helping me in terms of my score, though. We're going to have to do more than that. Services regulations helps with uh, human development index, but hurts our GDP growth. So that's not really going to be very helpful. Uh, I guess we need to probably start thinking about some other things. Mining is one thing I want to look at for sure. Um, natural environment, no. Education, primary schools, what's that do for us? AP income. Uh, and HDI. Let's do that. Let's start getting some schools going in Chad. We'll start getting our people headed in the right direction. Um, I don't think militarily we need to focus on that too much. I would like to focus on industry if that was something available to us. Wind power plant. Uh, that costs, but not too much. GDP growth, AP income increases. Nuclear power plant. Uh, that does require some decent maintenance. We do have, however, rare earth elements. Hurts, it helps with unemployment. Open pit mine. 
that actually might be a way to go. But we have to do private industry first. All right, let's do that. Once we finish with tourism, we'll look toward private industry. No, don't don't abort that. Just takes a few few minutes. Oh man, I don't know if I'm going to get that score. I got to find some way to get score. Uh, there are more and more bots that create confusion in the digital space. Fake accounts negatively affect our education system. <laughs> Lovely. Um, Uh, just deal with it. All right, so we're looking toward private industry now. So let's look at where that is and what we need to do to make it happen. Okay, so it's right here in economic focus. So let's go ahead and choose private industry. So that's going to help with our human development index. It's also going to allow us to build some mines that can help with our metals situation. Our GDP growth is up to 0.03% now. I'm also looking at, there's not only basic infrastructure, but there's also infrastructure. So uh, those are two things that we also want to focus on a little bit. But basic infrastructure seems to be a little more modern. You're looking at things like rail transport, commercial air traffic, uh, nuclear energy, stuff like that. Stuff I, I really don't think needs to be a big focus for me just yet. Interesting, we've been invited to attend an international conference that aims at the exposition and self-promotion of the attendees. Uh, so let's show the world our might. We would lose 500 money, 300 action points. We'd gain 50 in score, uh, plus one militarism, and we would be seen as a warmonger. We could make some friends, but we wouldn't gain any score that way. Um, sorry I'm playing tennis that day. Um... I don't know that being seen as a warmonger is going to hurt me right now. I think I'll take the score from doing that. Gets me up to 140. we got a long way to go before we can reach the 500 that we're supposed to hit um, in the next 600 days. Maybe we do need to worry about building something. Let's see what other options there might be. So while we're waiting for... Uh, primary schools to complete. We are a totalitarian government right now, um, and we're an interventionalist, and we've got a pretty strong level of militarism and personal control. Um, we're about to complete primary schools. There we go. Our GDP is actually up to plus uh, 0.06 now. Definitely headed in the right direction. Uh, all right, we've completed the industry one as well. So I want to think now about our people. I'm looking at ideology. I don't think there's necessarily anything to be gained by focusing on that right now. Um, social policy. I'm just thinking down the road at the things we could do there. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to focus on the military so we can expand because uh, we're not going to get real far based on what we've currently got. What does it do to join these things? We gain relations with other people, stuff like that. All right, let's go to basic infrastructure. Let's look at water infrastructure. Uh, that's going to help with our human development in index. Uh, and we're going to try to do some of these basic things there. In the meantime, I want to build an open pit mine, which is something that we've been waiting to be able to do. Uh, that's under industry. So let's go ahead and build that. Oh, what's the problem here? I thought I had private industry. Oh, that's the one I'm still working on. All right, we got 14 days left on that. There we go. Private industry has been completed. First things first, let's go to our next project, uh, which I believe we're still under. And we haven't done much more in economic focus. So I'd really like to get all the way to agricultural supremacy, which you can see here uh, just how much these later things really help. But you got to have a human development index over 35 to get there. So... Um, but I would like to focus heavily on something so that I can become really good at something. Um, agricultural subsidies. I don't think that's really an option that we want to explore right now. Let's go back back to financial system. Banking law is going to hurt our GDP growth. All right, let's go ahead and do a financial system. And then let's go ahead and build our open pit mine. Oh, 
We've got 100% consent of the parliament for that. And then, of course, that's something I think we can probably upgrade uh, to in improve it even more. You can see right now we're, we're still losing money a little bit. We've got 200 points now, uh, so we're working our way toward that score we need. Um, metals is what we're trying to turn on the positive side. A large company from our country is planning a debut on the stock market. We can potentially get something out of it. Uh, nothing happens on our stock exchange without our consent. Oh, GDP growth uh, plus 0 0.05 for 100 days. Yeah, let's do that. So now we've got a GDP growth of 0 .0, or of 0 0.1. Uh, HDI is up to 22. It's happening slowly, but we're almost a year into the game, so I'd like to see it start to happen a little faster. All right, so we completed water uh, infrastructure. Now we're looking at drinking water. HDI increase, population growth increase. Uh, we can also look at urban infrastructure, which is going to unlock the action infrastructure support. Um, let's do that. Also, there are other things we can be going after we if we max out all our general slots which i think would spend a lot of money to do that um prepare to annex a province by gaining a core on the province i just don't know that there's any nations that i border that are weaker even than i am maybe central african republic i could look at them possibly um let's look at our military military policy military staff unlocks joint military exercise I think I've got enough general slots already so I'm not entirely sure that's necessary um, let's go ahead back to oh what about internal security what's that do that improves HDI a little bit let's do that and let's take a look at the possibility of taking on the Central African Republic. I just want to look at their military and see kind of what they've got going for them. Army limit 22. Manpower, or is that me? Here's their military right here. It looks like they've only got... Oh, they've got 25, and I've got 22. Or is that... No, mine's 22, and theirs is so I think I probably can do this we need a general though Turkey is at a crossroads seems like half the country would like to continue in its pro-western policy supported mostly by younger generations while the more nationalistic half recalls the Muslim sentiment of the old Ottoman Empire uh, it'll be interesting to see what they choose Meanwhile, Russia is at war with Georgia. I just noticed that was happening. 431 units for Russia, only 17 for Georgia. I think we all know what the outcome of that is going to be. So we're going to build up our own military here in a minute. One of our advisors' terms is ending. A bunch of advisors' terms are ending. So we've got some unused project slots now. Healthcare, plus two to HDI, which is something we're trying to build up right now. We're still barely on the positive side with GDP growth at the moment. Uh, looks like our open pit mine is completed, but we're still at negative 20 on metals. So let's upgrade this bad boy. Oh, we've got to have industry modernization to be able to upgrade. So now we know what we need to work toward next. Advisor contract has ended. Uh, let's look for more. Minimum tax level. Minus 10. It costs 100 money and 50 action points every time I look for more AP income. All right, let's do that. Let's get some more action points. Our politicians called foreign countries <laughs> behind closed doors. Unfortunately, tapes from these conversations leaked, and now these countries demand explanations from us. Let's settle this informally and quietly. Um, yeah, we could send spend the action points to do that. Oh, man. Uh, countries slandered by our politicians have rejected our efforts to alleviate the situation. Very good. They're a-hole countries anyway. Um, I don't even know what the countries are. Oh, Greece, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Comoros. Nobody I'm particularly worried about. So, you know what? Whatever. 
Um, I'm not going to declare war on Greece. That doesn't seem to make a lot of sense right now. We do need to hire a general. Uh, it's going to cost us 4,000 gold and 3,500 uh, action points to hire a general. But we've done that. So there we go. Uh, ya uh, That That's a cool name. I like it. Um, we'll go with that. So now we need to assign our general to our military. Oh, we got to work on our projects here. We need industry modernization. So that's something I need to look for. I think that's going to be under our economic focus. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. So we need to do regulations next. That'll help with HDI. It's going to hurt my GDP, though, which is already stagnant at zero. Okay, we're going to go ahead and assign our general to the military. Uh, I think we're going to build up the military just a little bit. Poland joined the block community of Hungary. Looks like a bunch of people are starting to join various communities now. All right, let's build up our military a little bit before we go doing anything else here. Do we have a barracks? We do have a barracks. Build additional army units. That's about all we can do. So let's build five more. All right, so we've built our first new military unit. I'm also looking at the economy for a minute here because um, we are still losing money and our GDP growth has dropped below zero again. We could drop taxes, which are right now about 30%. If we drop the taxes, our income drops significantly. Uh, to where we're going to lose 200 but for now that's not as big an issue to me as the gdp growth so dropping taxes allows my gdp growth to kind of stabilize and i think right now it's being affected by the world economy uh, because it's been fluctuating and it dropped to uh, oh georgia was destroyed so georgia is no longer a country uh that's what over here so they've taken georgia that's one less country in the world we're looking to do the same with the Central African Republic. Uh, but I want to make sure that we're in a position to be able to defeat them militarily. And I just don't think we're there yet. So let's look at what we can do to upgrade our infantry. Um, right now we've got motorized infantry is what we're going to try to uh, start getting. Uh, you cannot deactivate technologies or block integration projects. So let's do that. Eventually, maybe we can have a more advanced military than some of our other nations, and then it doesn't need to be a large military. All right, so we've completed motorized infantry. Let's continue down the path of upgrading our military, because I think we're going to have to have an air force for sure. Let's look at army. Uh, we're working on land army right now, try and build up some of these other items as well. But... That's not what I need right now. I need military technology. So uh, mechanized infantry gets us closer to being able to do tanks, commandos, artillery, things like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. That's also a 125-point bonus to our score, which would be huge. Uh, let's take a look and see. We're 100 days away, and we're getting super close. Uh, we need to have that over 500. That would get us there. Uh, if that can be completed in time. Oh, it's going to take 127 days. <laughs> We're just going to miss that. I should have done that sooner. I don't know if Land Army Project will get us any points or not, but we're going to be just off of being able to achieve that score in time. That hurts. All right, so GDP growth back on the positive side. We're getting really low on money to the point where I think it's probably time to take a loan, but I want to keep the taxes low. So I'd rather borrow, oh, we can only borrow a 1000 that's it? Oh, boy. That doesn't really help a whole lot. So I guess we are going to have to raise taxes to compensate. But even maxing out our taxes isn't going to get us there, unfortunately. So I'm going to keep them low for now. Man, we're going to start having some issues with debt. I'm trying to build some mechanized infantry units now. Because uh, I did look at the military here. Ah, uh, we failed. Yep, I knew we wouldn't. There goes the thousand I just borrowed. I had to pay that out. Um, so looking at his actual uh, military here, he's got 13 infantry divisions, 6 panzer divisions, 5 air fighters, 5 helicopters, and 5 militia. Whereas my army is pretty heavy on militia. 
So that's really just not a helpful situation. So we're really going to have to upgrade the, the army before we can go invading anybody. All right, well, we've reached the point where we can get to industry modernization, but now we don't have enough money to complete industry modernization. So that's no longer an option for us right now. Uh, we have to look at other options, and pretty much everything costs money, which we do not have. Uh, so unfortunately, we're kind of stuck and not able to complete projects because of our financial situation. Um, so let's start by raising... We can raise taxes all the way to 62.5%. It's going to destroy my GDP growth, which was actually doing really well. Um, we could take an additional 1000 loan. But again, that only gets us so far. Actually, it's not even letting me do it. Okay. So we're maxed out at the amount of debt that we can take take on. All right, so I don't know what happens now. We just run out of money, I guess. So we're starting on a project, Sovereign Bonds. I had bought some stock, and I went ahead and sold that uh, in an Australian company, uh, and that got me a little bit of money back, uh, thankfully. So I'm not completely out of money at the moment, but I will be soon enough. Um, their project tanks has been implemented. Let's go ahead and see if we can build some tanks. We're going to have to get an invasion going here pretty soon. But we don't have the money. Dang, that's expensive. We can build five tank divisions. That's about it. High on happiness. Yeah, well, that happens when you're bankrupt. Let's go to war. That'll make things better, I'm sure. As soon as we get those tanks built. All right, so here's something we can do to make up some of the money we've lost. We can sell some resources. Uh, so let's look at rare earth elements and start selling some of that. Even if we sell just four, which we're making 24, Actually, let's max that out at 7. That can help us kind of turn the financial system around if we start making money. Oh, that was buy. I didn't want to buy. What was I thinking? All right. That's okay. So we're not going to make a ton from selling it, but we've got a lot. Oh, actually, we can make a ton. If we sell a 1,000, look at that. We've got money. Same with metals. Let's sell some of that. We've got a really nice supply of some of these things. Fuel, we can sell a little bit of that. All right, now we've got a little bit of a cushion. Let's pay off our, our small debt that we have. Let's go back to our taxes and lower those again. It doesn't really make a huge difference, but it makes a big difference in our GDP growth, which is now 0.17%. So that's good. We're building our Panzer divisions, which is slowly but surely getting us a military that can compete with these guys. An ambitious young politician fights in local elections on a platform of draining the swamp. <laughs> he turned to us for help and promised that we would not regret it. Um, forget it. Our, our interests are global. So right now we're working on banking law and national currency. We're just trying to stabilize this economy any way we can while we simultaneously work on panzer divisions. Let's go ahead and build up some more mechanized infantry, which doesn't cost nearly as much. And I think between those things... That should give us the military we need to be able to invade this other nation. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to get a spy going uh, so that we can go in and uh, fabricate a claim on the Central African Republic. So let's go ahead and hire a spy. 5,000 is what it costs and 3,000 action points. Leal Fall. She looks pretty harmless, right? Uh, let's go ahead and send her into the Central African Republic, where she will 
first start building espionage points, and once she builds enough of those points, she will then be able to fabricate a claim for us. Looks like we've helped this company stand on its feet. The industry sector and employees are relieved. Uh, we should nationalize it. Uh, no, let's not do that. Banking law implemented. Okay. Let's go back to our unused project slots. Now that we have enough money, uh, maybe we can go ahead and choose the... Oh, where's it at? Infrastructure, economic focus. Here we go. We need industry modernization, but we still... Oh, we need an HDI over 30. So let's worry about infrastructure. How about drinking water? That'll give us... 30 HDI. That's what we need. Drinking water for the people so that we can build our industry up a little more. Railway infrastructure would give us another two uh, to the HDI plus our unemployment, which our unemployment's at like 20 some percent right now. Uh, so we could definitely use with boosts to unemployment. I'm just looking to see what's the best way to affect that. All right. State Bank will actually give us another GDP growth bonus, which our GDP is terrible. Uh, so anything we can do to improve it is going to be helpful. We need, I think, 20 spy points to be able to start generating our fabricated claim. So we're, we're almost there. Okay, let's go into political espionage, fabrication of claims. Oh, we need 30 spy points to do that. We're at 23 right now. Once we do that, we'll have a 50% chance of success of fabricating that claim. Actually, it looks like we need 35 total. Uh, we also need 350 in money and 500 action points, and it'll take 85 days to make that happen. All right, we've got our spy points now. Let's go ahead and start fabricating that claim. That'll take some time. In the meantime, it looks like our unhappiness finally went away, at least for now. And I don't think we're going to complete the uh, maximum generals. Uh, what about a festival? What happens if we do that? It costs 2000 money and it reduces unhappiness. Eh, I don't know about that. All right, we've got elections. We can choose interventionism, personal control, militarism, um, accept all, discard all. Um, Currently, we're at 24. Our target is 7. I guess we got to change our targets. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with uh, all of them. So we're going to keep it right where it is. Recently, Ombudsman conducted a volunteer paramedics pilot program where young, able people were able to uh, were helping emergency and medical services with the simplest tasks. It's a great success. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. We can remove unhappiness by 10%, which is kind of a concern right now. That's going to help population growth. It's going to take away some resources. Totally worth it. Let's do that. All right, how are we doing on our... Oh, we, have, we haven't been doing projects. Oh, that's a problem. How are we doing on... Oh, we actually have a few options in infrastructure. Economic focus. We can do in industry modernization now, which is going to allow me to upgrade some of my industry, which would be huge. Looks like we're getting pretty close to completing the fabrication. Yeah, we don't need a... Uh, Tiger economy. Who doesn't admire tigers? Become a tiger economy and maintain high GDP growth for two years. What's considered high? More than 0.2%, which we're not even close to right now. It failed. Uh, it caused additional failure consequences. So we had a 50-50 chance. Um, illegal immigrants. Leave them be. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. All right. How many points do we, we have now? Um... We don't have enough yet. We only have six. Uh, this is going to take forever. Can we just invade without a fabrication of claims? I think we can probably do that. All right, so let's take a look. We could just claim a core with dip diplomatic actions. Um, liberate country. Declaration of war is right here. Uh, what are the odds? We don't have support to do that, unfortunately. Uh, their relationship with us is less than or equal to 75, so we're good there. Um, 
So I guess we just got to build up power in Parliament for it. So let's lobby Parliament and then do what we need to do. Declaration of war uh, successful. Let's do this. Oh, he's going to come at us, is he? All right, cool. Let's make this happen. The war between the mighty powers of Chad and the Central African Republic is underway. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have 44 units. They have 34. Obviously, their units are better than ours. So I'm a little concerned about that. But let's see if we can outsmart them on the battlefield and see if that makes a difference. All right, here we go. Can I pause for a second? Yeah. Okay. So we do have some air power. And so does he. Uh, we've got 17 mechanized infantry. We've got 15 militia. We've got 7 in the panzer divisions. Uh, let's try to take out... the helicopters if we can. Okay. My first time really paying much attention to the military aspect of things, so we'll see how this goes. I'm a little concerned that he's got better technology than I do right now. Not a lot happening at the moment. What if we move the helicopter up? Because his helicopter is not firing at mine at the moment. Take him out. Oh, this is not going well. Oh, we almost took out his air power, though. If we could finish off the air power, we might have a chance here. Yep, we did. Okay, so we still got his helicopters, though. All right. How do we do this? Attack, attack. Oh, man. He's still got his panders sitting back there. I am not going to win this. All right, while that's happening, we need to build up additional military, obviously. We're still working on mechanized infantry. We need some more panzers. Otherwise, we are not going to win, I'm afraid. The Battle of Bangui continues, and it's not going well. All right, our helicopters are hitting his helicopters. Looks like we drove off. Some of these guys. So that actually helps. We might actually win this after all. I'm a little concerned about his panzers, though. Once we drive off the, uh, once we finish off the helicopters, we can, we can focus on these last units. Oh, this is going to be close. All right, helicopter's down to two. But he's slowly wiping out my infantry in the process. That's all right. All right, let's speed things up. He will have no air power left in a minute. Okay. Now, let's send these guys after the Panzers, can we? Where are they? There they are. Go after the Panzers. You go after the Panzers as well. Why are my helicopters going? I guess they can go all the way back there because they can. All right. Finish off the Panzers, then we'll wipe these guys out. I think we've got them. It was costly, but it'll be a win. We can see all the information down here about what's happening. Oh, we got finished a project in the in the meantime. Slowly but surely, Islamic minorities grow in numbers and gain more and more presence in old Christian grounds in Europe. All right. Doesn't really affect me too much. Let's go ahead to our project for just a minute, though. 
I want to continue with military technologies. Artillery would be huge for us. Let's go ahead and do that. Commandos, I'm not too worried about. Back to infrastructure. No, financial system. Tax system upgrade. Let's do that. All right, back to the Battle of Bangui, which is going really well for us now. Not as originally as good as I thought it would be. All oh, these guys are getting in behind me. This is a problem. Let's back off. Because his panzers are staying back there. So we'll just kind of remove them from the equation, at least to the same degree they were. Oh boy, this is going to be close. We've got more more units being built. Can we send them down? Yeah, let's send them down. That'll help out. It's 9 to 4 now in terms of the units that are left. Future of our nation spends more and more time glued to screens playing silly games. Um... We're going to lose HDI regardless, but this way we only lose one for so long. All right, now we've got these guys. Our reinforcements arrived just in time. Chad won the Battle of Bangui against the Central African Republic. Now we got to, I guess, occupy these guys for so long. Our war score is looking pretty good right now. We want to get it higher, though. So now we're going to go move over and take the other half of their country. Once we do that, we should get war score at 100. Influential politicians organize a political debate. Nah, let democracy prevail. All right, we're at 100. Let's make our demands. Acquire province. Gain control over selected provinces controlled by the enemy. Yeah, that's kind of what we want in this case. Both of those. All right. Peace offer was accepted. Central African Republic ceases to exist. And Chad has grown. All right, we've completed artillery. That'll be useful. We'll start building some of those. And then we're working on tax system upgrade. Let's start focusing on our economy again uh, and on our infrastructure. Basic infrastructure, uh, public transport, what will that do? Another HDI bonus. I don't know. I just don't see that being the most helpful thing for us right now. Social policy, social support, or policy, I should say. Let's do social support. Still financially pretty stagnant at the moment. We've got a decent amount of money to keep us going, though. All right, let's look at our military. We can upgrade Parliament. Let's start building some artillery. Not cheap. It can cost us seventeen fifty for those. Can we upgrade our open pit mine? Yes. What will that do for us? It's going to cost a lot. It's going to take 200 days. What's it going to do for it, though? Resource income plus 20. Totally worth it. Let's do it, because then we can sell that stuff. So with our tax system upgrade, we can uh, drop our taxes all the way to 10% now, which will uh, you can see the difference it makes in the GDP growth. Maybe I'm focusing way too much on GDP growth. I don't know. I'm just trying to build my economy as best I can. We have a debt of one right now. Oh, maybe not. We're just looking at our financial situ situation here. The world economy is kind of going up and down, and you can see how that affects everything. Our unemployment rate's down to 8%. It was over 20 so that's a big difference. HDI is up to 32 Let's see where we rank among the nations. So we were like 118th in terms of our score. We're up to 90th now. Obviously, Russia, United States, China are kind of the big three right now. But you can see my GDP 7 
compared to Russia's 1406, U.S. is 25,000, and they've got a ton of money available to them. Um, so we have to probably think about building a block of our own. Start getting some allies here in Africa before we can take on some of the larger nations. Uh, I'm thinking about where I want to expand next. I think Sudan's a pretty large nation. It's probably not the way I want to go. I should probably look at the uh, economic situation in the different places because maybe that's where we need to be thinking uh, is what, what country is going to help us economically. Obviously, Nigeria is a very powerful country. They've got a lot of rare earth elements in Cameroon. And they've got a significantly better economy than I do. Maybe that's what I want to do next. So I think that's probably what we'll pose as a question to the war cabinet over on Patreon. Is who should we attack next? We've got Sudan, South Sudan, uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Republic of the Congo, Cameroon. Nigeria is really just off limits. Uh, they're too large, too powerful. Niger. Um, we could look at some of the military powers in those nations. Uh, it looks like Sudan's actually got a relatively small military. That might be somebody we could take on with little trouble. They've got 13 mechanized infantry, one panzer, four air fighters, and three helicopters. Uh, I was thinking about Cameroon because they looked like a decent economy. And here's their military. 14 infantry, six panzer, Three air fighter, one commando, one artillery, a tactical bomber, four helicopters, and nine militia. So more powerful than us, obviously, right now. Because our military is pretty weak, but we're building more. Also, we have to think about buildings. So uh, let me know your thoughts on that as well in the comment section. What should I build next? What should I focus on as far as the economy goes? I've got building slots available in three provinces now. Uh, they're all going to be expensive to build. But, for example, if I work on the economy, farms uh, give us population growth and GDP growth. Tourist zones are going to give us GDP growth, unemployment growth, and relations, and HDI. Um, tax income, if we build a market. Stock market gives us a plus three HDI, and then we can invest our own stock market, um, which is a garbage dump that is big time hurtful to the HDI, but gives us some money. A Cosmodrome would be super expensive to build. I don't know about that. Industry-wise, we've got factories. Unemployment and GDP growth helps. Um, what was the GDP growth on that? Plus 0.02. Uh, and they're not real expensive, at least at the first level. Um, we can al always build natural resources, which we can turn around and sell. Uh, so that might be a way to go. Oil wells, REE extraction facilities, um, gives us 10 of those. That's all stuff we can sell. So um, that's all stuff to think about. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about that. I'm going to pose a question uh, to our war cabinet about who should we invade next should we build up our military and go after cameroon uh, because they've got a lot of natural resources and a decent economy and that would help economically or should we go after a weaker opponent uh, that wouldn't take much to take on like uh, sudan let's take a look at their economy for a, sec for a second their, their economy is not much not not a whole lot worse than cameroon's the difference there is uh, Cameroon's got more natural resources. They've got those rare earth elements. So those are the choices. We're going to say Sudan or Cameroon. And I'll put that over on the uh, War Cabinet vote. And your vote will be binding. Uh, all of you at the first lieutenant level on up on the Patreon uh, support. Uh, your vote is binding. Whatever you choose, that's who I'm going to go after next. So let me know your thoughts. Drop a like if you want to see more from this series. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.